As we're doing, it's a boss up boy, and back again with another video, and it's another debate video, and it's how well do I think our under-21 squad will do this season now. I already said my prediction for the first team, so I thought, let's see the under-21 squad, because they're equally important for a team like Colchester, especially when we rely so much on our youth team when it comes to playing them in the first team. Now, before I start this um, topic, I'm just going to say we really don't know where this team, how far or how well this team can do, as we don't know how many um, times the under-21 players are going to have to be called into first-team squad. Now, this could be down to injury, suspension, or just John's playing style and who wants to play, because there are a quality bunch of under-21 players that are being pushed for the first team. Example, Smodix. Now, considering he's been given the number 10 squad role, I can't see him playing too much for the under-21 squad. But I can see maybe the likes of Tom Lapsley playing for them, as we have got Doug Loft, Owen Garvin, Craig Slater, and then him. So he'll probably be on the sub bench most of the time. But I think he'll be more under 21 still than first team. But anyway, let's get into this. I think considering the success of last year finishing fourth place under John McGrill, of course he won't be there to guard them this year. It's going to be Wayne Brown, who's... I wouldn't say he's on the level of John. I'd say he's probably a bit below, but hopefully working... Of course, he's under-18 manager. But hopefully working with, um, working with the under-21s, he can improve his coaching ability and skills. And it's a much better squad. Of course, every age group you got with this, the ability gets better. But I think Wayne's a good manager, you know. He's very tactical and he's very defensive when it comes to his style of play. And... The squad is quite defensive. If you take the main players out, think about Maka ain't going to be playing a lot. And it, Femi probably will be in it more than Maka, but still being pushing in the under-21 team. So I do think they'll do well. I don't think they'll get to the levels of last season. I hope. I'm not, I do really want them to get promoted, but can I see them with all these players getting taken out of the squad? I don't know. But they have got a good basis there if, Without the players getting pushed to the under twenty one, under twenty one squad, take Charlie Edge for example, but I can see them probably doing the same as this season, just scraping just below, and not getting into those promotion places. Sadly, but all the best to them. I really hope they do get promotion.